today and tomorrow, the Gauteng MEC for Economic Development, Agriculture and Rural Development, Dele Bokhang Maile, will host the Agro Processing Industry Summit in Cliptown Museum. Uh, to tell us more about that is the department spokesperson, Pindile Kunene. Pindile, very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Ayanda. Thank you for having us. Perhaps let's begin by providing a little bit of context. What do we mean by agro processing? Well, by agro processing, we're generally referring to the transformation of raw materials um, that come from agriculture into food, into textile, into leather products, into beverages, and so on. So that is broadly what ag agro processing means. So it's more of the manufacturing side of your agriculture. It says here that the purpose of the summit is to discuss the role of agro-processing uh, as a, a game changer, a sector that stands out to build a more regulated framework for participation, price regulation, management of new entrants to the market. What exactly do we mean when we say that it's a game changer? Well, we believe that it's a game changer because it's one of the, the sectors that have been identified by the Gauteng government to actually create decent jobs and to propel the economy forward. Now, if you look at the economies of the West and Citibank regions, which um, Western in particular is very dependent on mining and it's not a very diverse economy or diversified economy. So what we're trying to do is to actually introduce new sectors into the economy and agro-processing is earmarked as one of those and we think that it can actually provide a lifeline for some of these struggling economies. When you look at Gauteng, you might wonder why are we placing an emphasis on agriculture when it's such a small portion of the economy, but um, agro-processing itself makes 7% contribution to our manufacturing, so it's quite big and when you look at um, the industries that are ba agro industries that are based in Gauteng, we've got over half of them uh, having their headquarters in the province. So the infrastructure is there and we think that we can actually capitalize on that to diversify the economies and to actually give areas such as the West Rand and City Bank, which have been characterized as um, the Western and Southern corridors, more diversity in terms of the, the goods that they sell, in terms of the jobs that they create and so on. Let me digress for a moment or two, if I may. President Jacob Zuma, uh, as well as the Deputy Minister in the Department of Trade and Industry, Mr. Zwandile uh, Masina, have been speaking a lot about black industrialists. Is this linked at all? It's, it's very linked, and I don't see that discussion evading um, the summit itself, which is taking place tomorrow. It's very linked, and um, there are a number of, of, of we think that agro-processing as well can be a lever to actually create black industrialists, to create uh, farmers that can stand on their own and that they can, com can compete on favorable grounds. Um, the smallholder farmers, which are mainly black, are going to be the biggest delegation that we'll be having tomorrow, but we'll also be having you big corporates in the agro-industry, your f food retailers and all of that because the crucial issue as well is market access for some of these farmers. Very important. Let's speak now a little bit about the summit, um, the logistics, when where it will take place, uh, who is allowed to attend, is there a price to it? Well, there were engagements and consultations prior to the summit where we met farmers across the province, we met uh, financial institutions, we met a whole lot, met a lot of a whole lot of role players um, in the sector. So those role players have been identified as delegates to this particular summit. Uh, we're starting tomorrow at ten o'clock, but registration is at half past nine, um, and. And we, the delegation is sort of decided, so to speak, but it is open to, to the media. And, yeah, they can come in and join us. And, but we urge everyone to follow the discussions mm -hmm. afterwards. Um, we will be communicating on the outcomes of the summit, uh, especially the strategy, agro-processing strategy for the province. In about 15 seconds or so, what are your objectives and how will you measure success Well, the summit? firstly, it's to finalize the agro-processing uh, strategy for Gauteng. Mm -hmm. But secondly, to ensure that we create these conversations between small farmers, smallholder farmers, and... Uh, big corporate mm -hmm. so that they do have market access. They've raised issues around funding um, and, and, and sometimes what they call adverse incorporation, mm -hmm. that even when they are integrated into these value chains, sometimes it's not on, um, on favorable grounds for the mm -hmm. small farmer. So we want to resolve some of those challenges. But the biggest uh, measure, I suppose, is the implementation of the agro-processing strategy, which addresses the whole range of uh, challenges that are faced by the sector, issues such as infrastructure, your arbiters, funding, training mm -hmm. and uh, capacity building and so forth. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much. Inform Informative and uh, insightful there indeed. Uh, Pindile Kunene is the spokesperson in the Department of Economic Development, Agriculture and Rural Development in the Gauteng province. Leave it there for now. Quick ad break.